Uh, Johnny Palmer, founder of Pitch and owner of Pitch Air. I've always loved aeroplanes and always wanted a private jet. In the case of this one, COVID hits, we needed more space for our business pitch because we're using all our warehouses for studios. Rather than build a carbon intensive building, we thought we could upcycle and repurpose the icon of hyperconsumption, which is the airliner private jet. And that is where Pitch Air came from. So the Midwich guys are great, been working with them for years, buying loads of screens and gadgets and cameras and so on. So when this project came up, I wanted to share this with them, get them involved, because we love engaging with our supply chain. We, we got a call from Johnny and he said, we've got a, uh, a cool project going on. There was a link to a website and it was his plane in the back of a lorry going down, I think it was the M25. And I was like, that's crazy. Like, the, the coverage it was getting was mad. So initially it was just a, uh, just a camera, just a camera for the space. Let's make it a UC space, a meeting space. But I said, look, we need more than this. We approached a number of our vendors, just a handful of our vendors and said, you've got some discrete kit here that we can make this a, a powerful space, but also an 80 space. So we've got, the, we've got the immersive wireless collaboration pod that basically sits behind the, uh, behind the screen, completely discreet, and it gives us that wireless collaboration feel. So a real powerful bit of kit there. We've also got the, um, the Samsung the frame as well. So that gives us a what looks like a picture frame, but can also be a TV or a monitor as well. Um, the Hudley IQ, which is a wide angle lens, gives you that conference in space, but as, as, as we say, discreet. And of course the Biamp kit, which is throughout, flooded the plane with Biamp, with speakers, with microphones and such. On. Well, uh, Biamp, we're manufacturers of uh, high-end professional audio solutions for meeting rooms, conference rooms. Uh, we offer speakers, microphones, sound masking systems. And of course, in a project like this, the key to it is to make everything very discreet. I think when Boeing designed the 727 back in the early 60s, uh, no one really thought about uh, the requirement for retrofitting audio systems like ours in it. But actually, it's gone in a treat and it's worked really well. So nine times out of 10, these the kit we work with, the vendors we work with, give us things that look wow. Everyone wants that sort of wow factor with their kit. This was the opposite way. They wanted it hidden. So you walk through here, it looks like an 80s plane, but we've got the power of a, uh, a modern meeting room. It's really important to have a simple to deploy solution. And we've done that with the beam tracking microphones and the speakers, the ability to handle systems easily without lots of disruption to the main fabric of the aircraft. By coming to us, Johnny gained so much knowledge not only with vendors, but also specialist teams internally, with the likes of, of course, the UC specialist team, the audio team, and the vendors, such as Biams as well. This one really stuck out to me because, like I say, nine times out of 10, I just get out meeting rooms. It would be a standard four meter by four meter space, whereas this was so quirky. When clients come here, they're like, wow, you guys really get it when it comes to AV, and you're good fun. So it's actually a massive expression of our culture and our brand that we love tech, we love interacting with people, and we also like an adventure and a challenge. That says a lot about us as a business.